Hello everyone, my name is Kate and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Okay then. It is... You got that game just now. Yeah. I didn't really care about the game till now. Care about this game at the moment? So... I just started watching it today actually. I saw a couple of people do the scary stuff. Apparently this is a scary game, but judging by this title, it does not look very scary to me. So we got. I won't spoil it, but have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Design pizza or go to pizzeria? Design pi- Ooh, good pepperoni. Um, oh, uh, I have pepperoni then. Sausages, onions. There we go, yummy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have not played this game before. It looks very, very fun. <laughs> this is the first time as I just got it today. <laughs> I, I have a- wait. <laughs> oh my goodness, this location flashbacks, even though I didn't get to finish the game with you guys. But I have, heard, I have seen what happens in this game. Come down here, shadow, shadow bear. Is it a trick shoot, man? Only one more kid left. Which was like a story to FNAF games. And yes, I have played FNAF 1, FNAF 2, FNAF 3, FNAF 4. As you guys have seen the FNAF 4 gameplay on my channel. How do I get this other kid? This is annoying. By the way, I'm pressing escape here, and it does nothing, look. Escape is where you usually press it. Anyone who's ever played the game on PC, you know that escape is the button to press. <laughs> yes! Screw you, Shadow Bear. Dead space, three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Audio prompt in three, two, one. Sorry, my 
document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I can't really one. do much about them. Because, um, last year he had something wrong with his eye, and we only found my, uh, like, at the start of this year that he actually became blind in his right eye. So, it's best to just leave him alone. But at least you get to hear a talking bread in the background. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'm just getting my headphones, okay? It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble Yay. that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant... <laughs> okay, just make anyone can do with... Uh-oh, screwed up. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started. And electricity. Sorry, but don't forget that. about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Such as, atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to... Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product uh, cached okay, in blueprint you, mode. Sure Give it a try like and do some shopping. Right.
indeed. Damn it. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. <laughs> Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. that in the corner? 60 f oh, s s oh, you can overheat. Nope, 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 nope. Just, nope. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to burn up and die. That would be the least thing I want. So that's where I am. So I'm using these other vents in. I'm guessing because, you know, they're all like lines and cubes and stuff. You will see my volume turn up as and turn up, turn down, but it's only because so I can show you guys my volume is. I don't know why I just did that when I just told you guys about the volume. Keep skinny, I'm going to see. How do you win? 
win exactly. Like I don't I want to know that I win. I spotted from them. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> So... I should probably put... <laughs> Whoopsies, I should have probably have... Uh... Oh, okay. Well, I'll call him after that. I haven't talked to him before. Shout out to Cause of Plays! Shout out to Cause of Plays! Frightened, very frightened at all. How do I, how do I beat game? How do I beat the game? Um, how do you beat this? This is like pain. Wait, wait. How do you like shut the beam? Great job. It wow. looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, 
and you should view that day as your <laughs> ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Oh, my funny bone. Ow. <laughs> Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place.
Oh, now I understand. So, hold on. What? Wait, no, that, those take the longest. We did some up because I really want to look with it. Ah, it's getting really hot in this one. I have my window open. Yeah. I literally just got home from school and I was like, oh, I should really find out a way to play FNAF 6. And so it was to be good game. As Corey said, it did many times.
시민 시민 I wasn't gonna die by the way, I was supposed to do that. I was about to, but I'm not gonna be a cringe. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. I always come back.
How do I shut off the view? Come back. Okay, I get it. 